why would they carve one right here next to the cliff edge? It's not carved. Yeah, I mean, if you were carving something, first of all, why would you carve it in water? Second of all, why would you carve it that close to the cliff edge when you have this all this stone to... So the second, we got the first layer of screaming burlap. Wait for it to dry. It'll start curing this east side over here uh, once the sun gets over on it. Come on, sun, do your thing. The day before I came to the site, Mike Sullivan had poured a mixture of two-part uh, urethane rubber into the molds. And being as wet as it was, I told Todd I didn't think it would work. Uh, sure enough, it did. They set up fine, and you can see as he pulls them out of the, the uh, impressions there, they left a, they were very uh, accurate. There's a black layer of something went on geologically here. So oh, this, this sandstone here is all forming one layer on top of the other. They had to be there. <coughs> they, these were buried uh, immediately. And the top layer is gone and the object is gone. Which looks like the, the, the layer eroded away. And somebody came in and found it years ago and dug them all out. So the real object is gone. to the side, give me a side shot. So, this looks like it was part of it. Yeah, look over here, look at the point. See how it, see how this one's getting, it's kind of warped a little bit. This is really weird, really, really weird. And how many more of them are down the stream? They'd all be under that well, layer right there. Either that or they, they're, 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 you can't see them anymore, they're totally eroded away. Mm -hmm. Now there's another thing here that I don't think water cut it out. Make sure we got the, yeah. the right ones. If you, if you look at this, there's a kind of a cut. Yeah, right yeah, it looks like. Uh -huh. that I don't think water did this. I noticed that. It looks I like think there could have been. Makes me carve something sort of. else. Yeah. It's amazing it's lasted this long. <clears throat> so there's that level. Here it is. Here I think they are on the same layer. Yeah, maybe they're connected by a piece of wood or leather or <clears throat> cloth or I don't know. It's uh, 5.15 about Thursday afternoon here in uh, the secret area. We got everything molded. Okay, so it's done. I'm going to pull the little mother mold extension over here on the side first. Then we're going to cut that that uh, mold. And we'll carry them both out separately. <clears throat> so this has got to be raised up next. 
No, that is the mold. That's what's going to be cast on right there. So, so to make it right, he'll have to try to do a little repair to those. Yeah, I could do a little clay or something in there. <clears throat> From what I'm seeing, this looks it looks like perfect impressions of a two-inch ball valve uh, with a short nipple and a coupling uh, sticking out of it. Right. If it was me guessing, I would guess that that's set up for irrigation. If you just saw that, when would you think it was manufactured? From what date? I mean, what period of time? Uh, just from looking at these, this looks like a ball valve from the the 90s. 1990s? Yeah, in the 1990s with the curve in it, because now they're a little bit more flat usually. By the 90s, they had a pretty good curve and bulb. So do you think the the nut is attached to the ball or to the bulb? Or, or yes. Yeah, it's, so it's part, part of it. Of it. It's yeah, part of it. The, the nut's actually <clears throat> where the, the threads uh, thread into the into the ball valve. This thing on the end is a coupler? Yes. Maybe? Mm -hmm. Where are you from again? Hillsboro, Texas. What's your uh, business name? Sam Houston Plumbing. Sam Houston Plumbing. Are you Ken? Yes. Seriously. Well, thank you very much, sir. No. I've got the support now underneath that pointed object that was sticking out on the cast that's joined right over here on that part. Well, this looks like it's pretty much in place. Okay. They're everywhere. See if this will come out. plastic okay it came out all right is that the plastic wrapped around it was also filled with uh, baby powder on it so that it would turn and slip on itself there's baby powder I'll have to clean this up and tidy it up a little bit We'll see how this is going to do. There it is. Okay. If you if you look at this, there's a kind of a cut. Yeah, right. Yeah, it looks here like uh -huh. I don't think water did this. I noticed that. It looks I like think there bit, could have been. It's been carved. Something sort of. else. Yeah. So <clears throat> this thing looks like a pipe or a, a point, a spike, but does it connect to this one? Or uh, do these things have have pipes coming out here that come up, come out straight? Is there a second layer above these? Is this actually connected to that, or is there a separate one up there? This one looks to me like... Uh, somebody was chiseling under this to th this object was in place say uh pioneers found it or somebody before that and uh, they went in here and chiseled under it to get it to free and come up uh they did the same thing in here 
And when they pull this one up, it busted off the sandstone around here and here where it was stuck. I think they're all busted off right there. This one uh, came out, it broke a little bit away here. Back here, it busted that off, busted that off here and busted or rounded it at least. This, this looks like it was deeper than this one. In fact, it looks, instead of coming up to a pipe, it looks like it comes up, you know, to something flat there. Garden your favorite plants. I'll be down here, Dumbo. Before the flood of Noah, 4,500 years ago, the entire earth was covered in verdant forests, some of them 400 feet tall. Giant ferns 90 feet tall that only grow maybe a couple of feet tall today. The earth was teeming with life, animal life, and, and plant life. When the flood came, it turned all that plant life into the vast coal beds we see today. One of those coal members is the Pennsylvanian Formation, which is the sandstone, the shale, and the, these uh, ferns are captured in that shale. That's what uh, you expect to find in the Pennsylvania strata that and sea creatures. Certainly don't expect to find man-made objects like those we've seen in these casts. It's almost as though there was a manifold there at one time. I was thinking it was metallic. Yeah, it left a black stain in here. If you can make this thing with a true hex head nut on it, you don't need to carve something in sandstone. That's right. On, up the creek, 30 feet, and then 20 feet more, or two more of them. There, somebody built those. That's somebody coming. built them, yep. Probably underneath that, that layer, which is right there, they could find more. If they found one, I'd be like finding those are. Who's, who's to say these are round? Who's On the to other say side. these aren't oval? Yeah. Who's to say they're not really that yeah. that tall versus what we're looking at? And it's something in this chamber that when you launch the projectile, when it hit and force it together, that catches fire or explodes on impact just because this is forced <coughs> together and then thing to me just looks like a projectile of some sort yeah, that could have been packed in a box and a box yeah. floated yeah. halfway mm -hmm. around the world and got yeah. laid down. <laughs> Any, anything with, with million on the end of it just doesn't apply to Earth. No. So I... You know, was this wasn't even a, near a quarry type thing, was it? Nah, just the bottom of an old creek. <clears throat> Let's see where they broke something out. Exactly. There. But you have no idea who has them? Nope. Well, there's absolutely no question they're manufactured. They're not organic. Too modern to say, to look antique, but they're too 
they're in the rock to tell them they're antique. But